All right. Yeah. Tobias Gall, I'm starting to worry about you, man. Are you hiding in my closet? How are you always the first to say hello? How is that possible? Every stream. Tony Foley. Obsessive Gamer. Floppy Pancake. Go with my blueberry pie. Matthew Lunesta. Draco Robo. Owls Lose. Mini Me. Oh, no. Mini Me. Not the dog hordes. Robin T. JR Like from Dallas. Ariac76. Samir, Matt Moden, first and last. Don't know what I'm doing. Ah, uh, Michael. Wrote herself winding. Christine, that doesn't like what I do. Kings to hire. Michael Ely, Eric, Rivers, Stephen Lewis. Let's get this thing fired up, folks. I'm already in the server today. Yeah, already logged in. Ready to go. Ah, how about that? So, booyah, you'll notice we are back on the Let's Play today. Uh, I need to get some concrete work done, folks. I need to get that wrapped up today down there. That needs to get done. That way we can move forward with uh, everything we accomplished on Friday evening. Bilal. Derek Parsons. Why your world so flat? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I picked a good seed. It's kind of flat right here. But look, 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 look. All right. So we have all that water down there. See all that water? This is the only flat spot right through here. We drove around on the Let's Play for a while. See the mountain, the giant mountain? That's all from here on up is nothing but mountains going down and around and over here. It's nothing but mountains. Like, there's not a lot of flat on this map. I just chose a flat spot, right? This is all mountains. This is all mountains. You can tell by the lines on the map what's water what mountains and what's, you know, flat. But anyway, the uh, stream the other day, we, uh, we finished up this old forge room. Well, we didn't finish it, but we got it started. We got the biggest part of it done, getting the foundation laid. And got our hallway put up for over here. So when we do our mini bike entrance, well, we have that done. All we have to do is connect it. We just have to connect it now. But you all talked about me doing a spiral staircase up here to get to that building over there. Because we want to connect it with the catwalk. Yeah, the catwalk. Well, uh, I have to figure out how to do that today. You know, that's, that's going to be the trick today. Figure out how to do that, how to make it look right. At least we can paint the spiral staircase. Yeah, there's a lot of water on here too, Draco. Oh, I got a GTX 1080 Ti today. Nice. Nice. It's a great card. It's a great card. Know a couple people that have them. And, uh, Bilal, I don't know if I said hello to you. Hello. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Indian. If I missed you, I apologize, but welcome. I hope everyone's having a beautiful day. Uh, we might have to take some of that concrete to Zitrata at some point. And what is it that we were trying to buy? We were trying to buy some creative things. We'll finish this forge room up here at some point, too. Probably not now. Um, maybe that top right there shouldn't be that color. You know what I mean? Maybe it should be, like, that color. Doesn't that look better? Don't you think that looks better? And then maybe we do the same thing with this and that. I think that almost looks better. And just have the one spot where the fire is going to be stone. I don't know. I don't know. We, we have plenty of time for all of that silliness later on. Plenty of time for that later on. Well, let me get my thing sorted here real fast. And we'll get to work on this sucker. 
Um, let's see here. Gonna dump that off. I don't know why I'm carrying a shotgun around with 115 shells. Why do I have that? Did we buy that from the trade of the shells? I don't know. I don't know. Food goes down there. Uh, nothing in there. And that's going to be where our bullets are. Let's do an assemble. Get those shells out of there. Stick them in here. Throw that on the ground. Stomp on it a few times because we don't need it. We don't want it. But what we do want and need are more exploding crossbow bolts. Folks, we're almost out. Oh, we need duct tape. And wood. Duct tape and wood. I should put the wood in here, shouldn't I? I should put the wood in here. I think I have it in building, but... No? Where did I put the wood? Did you come and steal my wood, Draco? I think you did. It's either you or Christine. Uh, shoot. Where did I put the wood? Well, there's a little bit of wood. Um... Well, that's not good. Can't find the wood. No, I'm looking right at it. I'm going to be slow today, folks. I'm really going to be slow today because, well, I just am. Maybe someone remembers. Mr. Charles North, Eric Baudois, Old Crow. Um, do, 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 do. Folks, what did I do with my wood? Did I just look at it in one of these boxes? And, oh, there it is. There it is. Why did I put it in this chest? I don't remember doing that. I don't remember doing a lot of things. All right, exploding crossbow bolts by 250. Booyah. It's another stack. All right. Well, I guess I'll put my wood in this box. We'll leave it right there. I don't know what kind of sense that makes, but... That's where we had it. That's where I'll put it again. All right, get this in here. That, this, sort. Almost have a 44. That's what we were going to the trader for. We need a handle for that thing so we can finish off the zombies after each uh, horde. So I need John Cat Games. What is up? Um, Louisa. I need stuff to make a catwalk. Yeah, the catwalk. Is that all forged iron? The, the spiral stairs and all of that? Isn't that just forged iron? I need wood. I need wood as well. I think you make those, you start those out of wood and then you upgrade them to uh, forged iron. Oh my goodness, a double timeout. Double whammy. My goodness, what you doing over there, gamer? Well, before we start this spiral staircase, I'd like to take a moment to take a sip of my tasty beverage. Boy, we jumped up to 80 today quick, really fast, like almost instantaneously. Nice. Jeff Blankenship, what's up? Sticky Stumpy, a.k.a. James Ford. It's Alpha Dog. Yo, what's up, Alpha Dog? Yo, just chilling, man. Mm. Mad Star Gaming, first time watching. All right, nice. Welcome, Tech Jaw, Janice Sue. Three thirty, three thirty. Don't panic, man. I logged on to the uh, multiplayer server yesterday. And uh, Mini Spartan and uh, a friend decided they wanted to play some Seven Days to Die. And, and it, a friend was trying to host it from his computer and it was not working out well. So I said, you know what? I logged onto the server, the multiplayer server uh, control panel, and it showed that no one had been on there for any length of time for 22 days and 18 hours. So I said, you know what? I'm paying all this money for this thing. Might as well get some use out of it. So I changed the seed. The uh, old save file is still there. I think Logan logged in because he saw us on there playing and freaked out that, you know, it was a it was reset. It was back to day one. But I didn't uh, I didn't wipe the uh, the server. I just changed the seed name just like I do on this server. 
Let's make some spiral. Well, let's make stairs. We'll make stairs. That's what we have to make. I guess we make the ones with the railings. Uh, but anyway, that's what was going on with that. We were just uh, I was trying to teach them how to play the game. My old crow came in there and and kind of suffered through some of it as well. <laughs> uh, so catwalk. Yeah, the catwalk. I think we need a couple of these. Uh, war streams. Ah, nice. Glad you were learning something. Oh, you wanted glass in there. You want to get real fancy with it. All right. I remember you saying something about glass. Uh, we got to go get some glass blocks out of the box then. Uh, let's see here. Building, building, building. Oh, we could use the business glass block, you know? But I don't think I have enough sand in a forge to do that. We'll just have to use bulletproof. We'll just have to use bulletproof. I don't know how that'll look. Well, it'll look like this. That's how it'll look. It would have been better if I could have done business. Because it's nice and smooth. Jeff! What's up, Jeff Midcliff? What kind of raids are you talking about, Jeff? Kristen Roberts, what's up? I'm still, I'm trying to get in the mode here. I'm trying to get in the streamer mode, whatever that mode might be. I'm trying to catch up with everything you're saying. Uh, well, let's try the bulletproof glass. If we goof this up, it's going to take a good bit to uh, fix it. Those things are hard to auger down. That's like concrete. All right, so something like that. That's what you're talking about, right? And then we'll do stairs like, uh, where could we start at the stairs? Like here? I forgot how I've done this in the past. I have. I don't know if I start the stairs there. I guess I start it there. Or do we... I don't know how it's going to end up. I don't know what side it's going to end up on. You know, I don't have enough practice at this to know if I put one here and one there and so forth and so on. It's going to spin around. It's going to do this and that. And it's going to end up looking to the north or the east or the whatever. Maybe we just goof around with it because wood's easy to come by. Uh, we can easily come by wood. So let me make a few of these. And we're going to put this here. And I made one of these on the stream series for the Grand Spartan Wall of Fame. Is that looking right? Is that looking right? Now, how can we attach the next? Do we have to build like a block up here to attach that to? I think I had to do something like that on the uh, stream series. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, I don't know. No, we're going to have to turn it. We're going to have to turn it. We're going to have to turn it just like that. Is this what we were talking about, or is this not the right way to do it? I don't know. We'll just try it. I'll read your comments in a minute. You can always auger it down. You know how I love augering things down. So if I start it there, it's going to end up looking to the north. All right, let me, let me read your chat here real quick before I go any further with this. Uh, BJK. Tanvir. Miss Paul Groves. Kuroku. Afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, Jeff. Okay. Jeff, I don't play with you on there, do I? Tony Foley makes me think of do 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 makes me think of that. Uh Beverly Hills Cop. That's what it makes me think of. Cause technically this we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna do this. I was gonna put glass on here, but if we're gonna do this. I might have to put a, the heck could I do this? I might have to put a, uh, a floor right here. You know what I'm saying? Instead of glass, I might have to put a floor in here. Uh, cause we, well, we gotta get way up in the air though. We gotta get way up there. You know what I mean? 
Like that catwalk. Let's go get some pole blocks real quick and we'll build our way over from the other side first. And that way I know the exact height that I need to be before I go to building this thing and making it iron. Uh, let's get our building stuff here. Pull blocks, pull blocks. We don't have any pull blocks. I think I threw them out. It's all right. We don't need many. Uh, concrete. Oh, centered. We want centered. Yeah, we'll make about 40 of those. We'll make about 40 of those. Oh, it's Boogle. Boogle Woogle. It's Gerard. Obsessive Gamer, you are a subscriber. Well, welcome. Ah, oh, I got your French support. Nice. Nice. Yeah, we love the French here in this stream. We absolutely do. Old Crow especially. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a floor. All right, let's build our way up over here. Boy, I had an easy way to get there, and now I don't. You know, I've done away with that easy way to get there. Let's do this number right here, and I'll just jump over to it. All right, let's figure out how we're going to do this. So there's going to be a catwalk there. Like, well, it's going to have to be one more up from that, though. You know what I mean? You following me? It's going to have to be like this. Cool thing about the catwalks, we can paint them. Yeah, we paint these things to look really nice. I wonder if I should put it up to the door or put it one back from the door. Maybe we put it one back from the door. Something like that. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a lot more of those. Catwalk, catwalk, catwalk. Catwalk with railing. Let's make uh, 40 of those. I don't know why I'm stuck on 40 today. And uh, we'll have one, two, three... Four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, something like that. Something like that. Make sure I don't go too high on this thing. Is it one more? I think it's one more. All right, let me get my catwalks out here. And attach that there and here. Don't fall, don't fall, and there. All right, know what I mean? You following me now? That way we know the exact right height to get over here to this building. Cool thing, like I said, though, once we upgrade this to iron, we can paint it. We can paint it like some real cool color. Some real cool cat. Don't break your leg. All right, what happens if I remove that? Why do we need to put a block there? We are either going to have to extend the catwalk one more over, or we're going to have to put a block here, uh, like a ramp block or something. You know what I mean? To make it right. We'll uh, we'll just leave it like that for now. I just want to get an idea of height. So we went one, two, three, four more up, four more up. So we're five wide. And we're five high. Five wide and five high. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know how I'm going to do this, though. You know, now that I'm looking at this. I mean, we can make it empty into a floor. And then I can have, like, a ladder or, I guess, more stairs going up to it. You know? I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work out. I didn't plan on stairs. I just thought a simple ladder. You know, it would suffice, but you all are like, no, the ladder's going to look ugly. That's not worthy of the Grand Spartan build, so I guess we'll figure something else out. But now you see what I'm up against, right? Ugh, I might have to take all of these curve blocks off the top and make flat blocks out of them or something to make a room up here. I don't know. Give me some suggestions while I take a sip of my tasty beverage. Give me some suggestions as to what I should do right here to adjoin this to that. Because our mini bike entrance is there. We walk in. We come up the stairs. Boom, boom, boom. And then we can go up there. That's, that's the plan. 
So uh, talk to me. Talk to me, people. Natural Born King, what's up? Ashram Gaming. Mo Moire. Ah, Adam Moss, a.k.a. Adam. Thank you for subscribing and welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, Eric. That's a good idea. That's probably what we're going to have to do. Probably what we're going to have to do. But now I'm confused as to how I can do this. I really got to think about this. Um, what if you drop the stairs straight off the generator room and come close to the top of the hallway over? Uh, I kind of wanted it to be up in the air, though. You know? I kind of wanted it to be up in the air. I'm taking a sip of my tasty beverage while you all think about what you have suggested for me to do here. You throw out like a quarter of a suggestion, and then you leave the rest to me. You know? I need help. <laughs> Help me, Stumpy. Help, help me, Stumpy. So that's what it's looking like so far. Now we just have to figure out how we're going to build a room up here. Uh, I can put four supports down here on the floor, which is what I'm probably about to do. Now, I don't know how that's going to look. We could use 100 pillars or 50 pillars or just square blocks. But I think I'm going to need four supports in the middle of the room. Like, like boom, boom. Uh, boom, boom. You know what I mean? We're going to need those in the middle because it's kind of a wide room. Uh, what is it? It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine blocks across to attach. And then you have to imagine filling in all the center. Maybe that one glass block in the center can support the weight. But if we build a room up top, that thing's going to cave in on us. It's going to, it's going to cave in. That's not, uh, that's too wide. That's too far apart for uh, concrete. Um, uh, reading your chat here, reading your chat here. All right. No, no suggestions, really. You're just leaving this up to me. That's fine. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to brainstorm, figure it out. I kind of wanted to do this before we did the concrete down uh, below. You know, get this idea knocked out with this spiral staircase. It'd have been so simple if you'd have just let me put a ladder. A ladder, folks. Just a ladder. I just climb right up and get on there. And I'm done. No, we had to get all fancy with the spiral staircase. Now you see what well, I'm gonna lose viewers now because of you. Losing viewers. Do glass supports to work in conjunction with the glass center. I guess. I mean, I guess, I guess we could do a glass floor in here, technically, you know. You know what, before we go any further, I need to put some sand in one of these forges and hope that we have enough lead to make some more glass. There's 5,759 lead in that one, okay. Let's get some sand and stick up in there so we can make some business glass blocks. Little man in the game's getting hungry. My goodness. He stays hungry. Stays hungry. Sand. 10K. Give it to me. Uh, what else do we need to make business glass? What else do we need? Uh, we have clay. Let's turn that on. Let's go business glass block. Oh, we can already make one. We can already make one. I just need a, what, a crucible in there to make it? No. No. Just need a little bit more glass. All right. Well, we're good there. We can make some glass blocks here in a minute. A hatchet elevator. A hatch elevator. Uh, I thought about that when we were talking about an underground uh, entrance. But uh, I don't know that I want to do that now. Uh, that's kind of played out. You know, we've, we've done that so much on the Alpha 15 and whatnot. You 
can do a three by three little up there and also make you a catwalk three wide. I don't know what that means, Eric. Uh, from Turkey, BJK, all right. Tanvir, collapse that base and it over again, no big deal. Yeah, let's just collapse it. Let's, let's go and auger all the supports and start back over because I'm not happy right now. We just collapse it and start back over. How about that? All right, I tell you what, uh, we got to get something done here. I'm just going to start placing blocks, and if, if you don't like it, then, then that's too bad. It's too bad. You're not helping me here. You're not helping me. <laughs> We're waiting on those business glass blocks, and I might fill this all in with business glass. I don't want to put supports in the middle of this room if I can help it. Maybe, maybe we can take that and make it into a concrete, reinforced concrete or steel and paint it. You know what I mean? And that's going to add support for the center of the room. And then we wouldn't need any other supports anywhere else. You follow what I'm saying? You buying what I'm selling? You know what I mean? And then we could glass it all out, perhaps. And maybe... Maybe this would hold. Maybe this would hold. But we still have to get up on that level right there. Uh, maybe I can do stairs coming down. Uh, starting right there or something, maybe. I don't know. I'm confused, though. I, all I had to do is put a ladder here, folks, and I'm up there. Boom, run across. That would have been simple. But now you have me, uh, you have me really thinking here and how I could do this. Let's take a look at it from back here. I'm not going to upgrade that yet because I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Just got to figure out how I can build a room up top that's going to hold. I don't think I can build it in this big wide room. Let's get some hundred pillars and put those down and upgrade those and see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like in here if I do that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right there. Glass floor with steel central pillar may be a good idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking the same thing, Gerard. I'm thinking the same thing. I think that we need a... Uh, I think that we're going to need a glass with steel on the top. Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter there's glass underneath here. What matters is that the top is going to be uh, steel. I think that's what matters. Tiny Tate! Oh yeah, I could just build it with beer and pizza. I could. I could. Absolutely. Start the stair from the top of the pillar in the middle. Crazy Squid! Slayer, I think that's what we're going to try to do. I'll probably just destroy those stairs there. And uh, we'll... I got to get a room up top, though. How about if we did a room that's not so wide? It's not so big up here. You know what I mean? Like... Like this. And we can flare it out. But kind of like we have the tower in the middle of that over there. Make something like that. See how the smaller room is on top of the supports? Maybe we make a bigger room on top of these supports. And then um, I could do the spiral staircase all the way up to the top if we do this into the next room that's above. You follow what I'm saying? That's what we're going to probably do. That's probably what we're going to do. Let's just, let me build it. If you don't like it, I can auger it down. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. But just to get us ahead on this Let's Play series, I got to do this. You know, I got to get this done. Um, we're going to run out of time to get it all done. And if that's the case, I don't need this concrete block here. And the other kind of crappy thing about this is I can't attach anything for a ceiling in this area. You know what I mean? Let's go make some business glass blocks real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. First, 
Let me auger right there. There. And I'll show you what I mean when I get back. You'll see it. I think you're going to like it. All right. Business glass block. How many can we make? We can already make 54. Do it. is not very high you should try straight staircase well it would be pretty cool though if we could do a spiral staircase that goes all the way up to this catwalk be kind of neat you know if we could do a spiral staircase that goes to a room that's all the way up here all right so what i propose to do is put a flat block here and here there and there That's going to add support. And we'll glass in the rest. Dog horde! Minikin, did you push that button? I hear a dog. You keep your finger off that button, Minikin. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. And I still have not figured this out. Has anyone else had the problem where concrete will not dry? It's not going to matter once I start painting this stuff. You know, it's not going to matter. But that concrete has been wet for weeks. Can't get it to dry. Cannot get it to dry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glass in everywhere around here. It's all going to be glass except for the center. Except for the center. And then uh, the spiral staircase goes up here. You know what I mean? We could even put glass all the way around this thing, honestly. Instead of the concrete to support, I could do glass blocks to surround this spiral staircase. Central building you want to reach with the Skyway. Copy the shape of the central building. I don't want to copy it, though. Oh, Zombie Flanders. I diddly ho, Survivorinos. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome, Zombie Flanders. <clears throat> We're waiting on some glass to make. And I hear a dog. I think Minikins pushed the dog button. I do believe. Let's see how many blocks we have here. 50! Look at that. Already. Already. 50 blocks. 50. 50. That's how you say it, right? 50. 50 blocks. All right, let's get this glass going here and see what we're working with and how we're going to do this. Oh, I like this glass. I like the nice little smooth look to it. I mean, not that the, not that the uh, bulletproof glass is bad, but it doesn't have the lines in it. I kind of like that it doesn't have the lines in it. Whoa, did I goof something up here? Two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. No, no, no. Okay, it's symmetrical. All right. I was just making sure. Making sure I did not goof it up. Well, if I do that rotor self winding, I need to auger these out before they dry completely. You know what I mean? I just want to see what this is going to look like with the glass blocks here. And maybe we just... That's just so much in the way. If we did glass, 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 all the way around there. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Rotor self-winding. I didn't... I didn't... I didn't paint that. No joke. We just used 50 glass blocks, folks. That was 50. We didn't even finish it. We need like 200 of those things. Let's go make some more. No, Draco, come on now. Come on. You didn't say that. You didn't say that. Um, Well, we're going to have to wait for this to... We're going to have to wait for this to smelt a little bit. And then we're going to come back over here and get some more. <laughs> I haven't painted it. Uh, oh, yeah, let me get my paintbrush. Let me get my paintbrush. 
See, I blame you all for that. You didn't tell me that. You didn't tell me that. Give me a thousand paint and a paintbrush. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna auger this building to the ground. We're just gonna start over. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> well, it may work out for the best anyway, because I kinda don't like the bulletproof glass up in here. We just do business glass. You know what I mean? Sounds like I'm about to take a trip. I'm taking business glass. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You didn't think I could do that, did you? You thought it was all going to collapse. Wrong. I knew what was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. It's being supported. It's being supported. But it's going to collapse because, uh, well, I don't like the business glass, but we also need to take out these four pillars that are supporting this thing. And there she goes. No way is that holding that up. You believe that? I guess the glass up there is holding it. That's too cluttered. That's too cluttered. That's, that's what that is. Koala man, you have not missed a thing, my friend. I'm trying to take suggestions from all of you, and uh, so far it's not working out very well, but we're going to get it. We're going to get it, even if I have to go my own way. You can go your own way. Go your own way. Yeah, I like the glass around the outside so far. Let's, uh, let's do that some more. Let's go get uh, a little bit more glass blocks now that they're probably have crafted enough of them. <clears throat> I think the one block in the center, if we make it steel, it may be enough to hold this sucker up. I don't know. Yeah, it's too cluttered. It's too cluttered with the little bit of... Uh, room that we have up in here. I don't want to walk up in this thing and just be overwhelmed. I might still just go with, with uh, ladders, you know, in the end. I don't know, you all are talking spiral staircases, and that sounds really fancy and pretty and all, but I just need this thing to be functional. I mean, technically, I can just build my way up to that room every time, but it's kind of silly that uh, I have to do that. All right, so look, we come out of the mini bike entrance and boom, we're right here. Look at that. You know, that looks nice looking. Uh, we just got to figure out how to get up there. One central pillar right here, ladder, boom, 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 boom. We're there. Uh, if I put a central pillar here, like one, two, three, four. Now we have room to do our spiral staircase. I think I can do this on the sides and our spiral staircase could go around here just fine. But this top block would have to be steel to hold it all up. You know what I mean? But how are we going to build a room on top of this? I'm not getting that unless I do all that in glass down there as well. You know, unless I do glass like boom, 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 boom all around here, except for where the entrance of our stairs is going to be. I don't know how I can do it. My tummy is growling in the game. I got to go get some tasty meats, too. Yeah, the old school ladder is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Would be cool, though, if we could come up with something fancy to get up there. All right, let me keep, uh, let me keep up with your chat here. Let me read what you're saying. Let me uh, buy what you're selling. All right. No, I didn't charge for requests. Draco, what are you talking about? No, I, I charged if there were a uh, a song I didn't know, if it was on, on the not on the list, um, you know, I would learn a song for you. But as far as requests go, I just play and sing what you want to hear. I didn't have any. Uh... All right, I need to get food. I didn't have a fee for that.
Uh, yeah, it feels like entering a, a Greek restaurant, the blue and white. Well, I just thought it would be neat to have a room up top to um, go out onto the catwalk. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be a big room, but just a room, something. I got to have some way to put lights up there, too. All this glass. Ah, oh, take care, Gerard Butler. Mubon. Gas to go. All right, we're all full. Our tummy's full. It's hard to see with the mining light on. We have no lights in here. We're going to have to put a light there and there, there and there, there and there. All right, so check this out. Check this out, folks. Work with me here. We're going to have to have a generator in this room somewhere. If we did it up top, I could probably hide the wires easier with like a, a light right here. And there, and then we put a light right here and here, and we do the same thing all the way around. Light, 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 light. Um, I might not be able to do this all in glass. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to have some kind of room, kind of like we did over here on this other side. Uh, maybe I just need to put this on hold and think about it. And uh, I'll show you what I mean here. Show you what I mean here. Let's walk over to our little uh, room over here. So you see how this room has a generator in it right here? You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to have to do something like this up top over there. Because I have to provide power for down below. I have to provide power for down below. So maybe the best thing I could do right now is fall to my death. And uh, let's paint this blue. is put this on hold until we can come up with something to put a room up top here. Maybe I need time to think about this. Uh, how we could build a room up here. And go do some concrete work. We go to do some concrete work. Can't go wrong there. It's got to get done anyway. That was the whole point of the stream today was get some concrete work done. And then I started on that silly project. There's squirrels all over the place, folks. Squirrels all over the place. All right. I don't need that in there. We'll keep those and keep this and that. And you and you and you and you and you. I still hear a dog out there. I hear a dog. Who let the dogs out? Many, 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 many. Who let the dogs out? Many. All right, that's there. Iron is right here. And I put my paint up and my paintbrush. I do not need that currently. And also iron. We do not need this. You need time to think about that, folks. I don't really think I had planned on uh, tackling that whole thing today. I was just going to get it started. But that's, uh, that's, a, that's a tall task right there. I really have to think about how I'm going to be creative and get that done. All right. First aid on my belt because I do hear a dog out there. I think Minnie Ken's pushing that button. Lego Kid from the Netherlands. What's up? Bruce Wayne. Go make yourself a tasty beverage. Samir, why don't you turn the power on? Well, I don't have any power in this part of the building, sir. This is a brand new. We just built this on stream Friday evening. All of that is powered. Look at this. Let me take you on a little tour. Take you on a trip on my favorite rocket ship. Uh-huh. Look at that. I can turn my mining helmet off. Look at how pretty that is. We got some indoor hydroponics going on over here with our gardening and whatnot. Yeah. We got our... Well, we'll go down the center hallway. How about that? We can go anyway. We can go any way we want to go. It's all powered. All powered. We got eight shotgun turrets over here, folks. We got all this lighting installed. You know what I mean? All of that's ready to go. Got to paint that, too. I'll do that off stream, though, or off recording. We even got lighting right there. We got lighting everywhere. It's just a new construction over here. Uh, if you miss the stream on Friday evening or you don't keep up with the Let's Play, then you wouldn't know that. But uh... So, uh, let me go down into the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. 
And you all can think about what we're doing here today. And we'll start our Let's Play back up this week. And we'll tackle that project on the Let's Play this week. And so you can be thinking about that. You can be commenting about what you think I should do and how I could do a room on top. But we might get back to it here in just a little bit. Might get back to it. But right now, uh, this is very important for me to get this done. Uh, will this stream be a video? Yeah, yeah, we're going to make this, uh, We I document, uh, immortalize everything that I do on here. Every moment of everything I do is documented, and uh, I will publish this stream as a replay later on this evening, once it is finished processing. Oh, it's going to look nice. This is going to look really nice once we get all the concrete out here. You'll see what I mean. I mean, it already looks a lot better, but just you just wait and see how nice this is going to look when we get this concrete down today it's going to be the difference it's going to make all the difference in the world of this build we don't have that much to go we covered this last weekend stream we did about uh, more than two-thirds of it we did about seven maybe 80 percent of it a little bit left to go here and we is done y'all We'll stop right there going that way. Let's just go this way for a minute. And I don't know exactly how far the mini bike entrance is going to go out. We'll just make a line in the dirt here and kind of fill that in for the day. And then later on, we'll come back and uh, finish it on out once we get the mini bike entrance done. Maybe we can do that in a bit too. We can make the mini bike entrance. Make the mini bike entrance. You are now a Spartan. Super Jeffrey, 1991. Thank you for subscribing and welcome. Oh, yeah, look at that. We're already over to the concrete there. We have that little tiny bit over there to do. I'm going to catch up with your uh, chat here. Spartans duct tape for me. Hold my beer. What's up? I missed your comment. That's not a stupid question. That's an excellent question. I get asked that question all the time. I'm glad they uh, answered that for you. Yeah, shift click is the key. Uh, pressing R is the key. I don't do it enough. Especially when I'm transferring loot from one chest to another. Whoops. It's probably going to involve a few thousand rebar, I would imagine, here today. Shaking when they get off on, say, like the side of a hill. No, I've not noticed that. Oh, how many of you have watched the uh, latest video from Joel, the Jeep? What do you think about that? It can hold uh, four people. The new Jeep they're releasing in Alpha 17 holds four people. I don't know what I think about crashing into a trash bag and the Jeep getting thrown into the air. I don't know what I think about that. I, well, I know what I think about that, but I don't want to say it. But, um, yeah, hopefully they get that worked out. I, I'm sure they will. I'm not sure, but I hope they do. Oh, look at that, my mini bike. Let's get it out of the way so I don't collapse the dirt underneath it and destroy it. There's a dog. Oh, there's multiple dogs. Doggy, how much is that doggy in the window? Now you come over here, doggy. 
If I don't get you, I got something that will. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's a roly-poly. He's a roly-poly. Make sure you say at Grand Spartan as well if you want to uh, get my attention. Otherwise, I'm all busy digging here and I might not catch what you say. Oh, there you go. Rotor self wine and Jeep looks interesting and concept is multi. Yeah, and more storage too. More storage too. I don't know what it's going to take to make, but I mean, I, the idea of it crashing into a little piece of wood or a trash bag and flipping it up in the air and coming to a complete stop. It already frustrates me, but I understand a mini bike. I understand a mini bike. But that thing has blades on the front of it. And it hits a trash bag and goes flying up in the air and comes to a dead halt. I don't know what I think about that. I think I'll take my chances with the mini bike and being able to ride through the uh, different areas and not be uh, brought to a complete stop. But you know, it wouldn't be so bad if there was a road system in the game. But I'm telling you right now, I played with Mini Spartan old crew and someone else yesterday, a friend of ours, and um, there was a road that led into a river, and then it like picked back up on the other side, you know, and so the road system's kind of broken, so it's not like you can just stay to the roads all the time and get anywhere you want to get, it just doesn't work like that, I mean, look at where we are on the map, look at this, you know, the road stops right there, they're not roads, that's just a path, that's not even a road. Uh, but the roads go off into hills and valleys, and you can't drive on them, even if they're, you know, if you wanted to, you couldn't. So either this week sometime during the morning hours, or um, next weekend, we'll get back to the stream series, and we'll get to building on that new base we're working on. Uh, excited about that project. I think that's going to be a pretty cool looking base when we get it done. A little funnel system idea that I had. Right now we're trying to level out the ground, get rid of this yucky looking dirt and grass. And make concrete rebar everywhere. Yeah, it has been, old crew. It has been. So... With that in mind, uh, they should absolutely think about that Jeep and how it how it uh, collides with the terrain. They either make it so that it doesn't collide with some of the terrain, or they fix that road generation. Because look, if an apocalypse happens, folks, I don't really know that there's going to be cinder blocks and trash bags all in the middle of the road everywhere you go. You know, I don't know. I can see cars. I can see cars being scattered throughout. Maybe some bodies or, you know, some some stuff like that. But there's a concrete block every 10 feet on the road. I gotta repair this thing. Look at all that dirt. Yeah, we're almost done with this section. Look at that. Booyah! Look at that! Oh my goodness, Darius Miller, you scared the life out of me, man, but thank you for subscribing. That's so loud. That's so loud in my ear. Woo! I was starting to drift off in another world. And then that, then Darius came along. Boom! All right, let me, uh, let me catch up with what you're saying. I'm going to get to the end of this line here laying the rebar, and I am going to take a sip of my tasty beverage and see what you all, you beautiful people, are saying. Yeah, I wish I could buy some of those trash bags. You know, you can crash a Jeep into and it flips it in the air because all mine seem to tear when I take them out of the trash bag, even the good ones. Um, ASMR for days. Is that good ASMR for you right there? 
That's pro stuff. Uh, Ariana Sick. New to the channel. Well, welcome. All right, Jester Taco, welcome. Welcome back. Good to have you. Good to have you here. Yeah, we're trying to get some rebar work done today so that when we pick up the uh, Let's Play series tomorrow, uh, we can get back to doing stuff like building that building right there. Look at that catwalk, though, with the, with the way the silhouette and the shadow. I think that's going to look nice. Now, it's wooden now. Uh, once I upgrade it to iron, it'll look even smoother than that. You know, it's going to look more modern. Uh, but I think that's going to look good. Real good, y'all. All right, let's get this rebar put in here. Tell you what I can do. Yeah, if you missed it last stream, I died to the killer hatch. It's only my second death of the Let's Play. Uh, it's really a shame. I had planned on making it through the entire Let's Play with only one death. I did not account for a killer hatch attacking me from above. That's very unfortunate. It's all right. It's all right. I still haven't gotten over that, though. I'm not going to lie. I still have not gotten over that. Still a bit salty. Still stewing over that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's right. Are they doing a bicycle? Are they doing the bicycle? I haven't heard any more about that. I know they talked about doing a bicycle. I kind of don't understand the bicycle because uh, if you if it were like 50 days in before you get a mini bike, then it makes sense. Have a bicycle. Travel around. But I swear to you, we were on day... What was it, Old Crow? We were playing on the server, multiplayer server last night on the new white. And we were on day three or four, and I had two mini bikes crafted. Maybe it was day five or six, but it was the first week of the game. And I had two mini bikes, and all I was missing was like one thing, and I could have had three. We'll have four mini bikes before the second horde arrives. You know, so it's not hard to come across that. I was wrenching cars with a brown wrench and got a blue 451 and a purple 574 engine. First two engines I got, you know. And so it's not that hard to, to come by mini bikes. So I don't really know about the bicycle. I, I don't think there are any consequences or repercussions to driving the mini bike. Heck, the zombies don't even attack you when you pull up next to them on that thing. So I don't know if I understand the bicycle thing, but... Muhammad! Ah, oh, I miss you, Muhammad. Jeline! Jeline! Watching the Let's Play series and... Yeah, good. Well, good to have you. Good to have you. All right, let me get this thing done here. We need to get this finished up today. We cannot put this off any longer, folks. I had planned on having this finish by the end of this weekend and streaming... If I can't get it finished, I may stream it in the morning sometime this week just to finish this one project here. But I think we're going to be able to finish it. Heck, this is the uh, biggest chunk of it. You know, we get over there done and then get over there done and we're finished with the concrete on the ground. We can start working on our entrance to the base and uh, yeah, we'll be completely done with it. Oh, TCG. Welcome. Mr. TCG, we were just talking about you yesterday in your human turd shrine. Yeah, we had a little conversation about you, sir. Sounds like my microphone kind of cut out. Can you hear me? It doesn't sound right. Something doesn't sound right. What did I do? Yeah, I guess that's right. I need to buy another microphone. I need to buy a better microphone. I need to get one of those Shure SMB8s or whatever they are. Things like five or six hundred dollars, though. You know? Well, we want a good microphone, though. You got to pay for it. It's not cheap. 
Tiago Games. Oi! Oi! Hatch NATO one through five. All right. Speamer. Speamer, what's up? Welcome. You beautiful people, you. And yeah, we're just kind of laying some rebar, a little chill, laid back stream today, I guess, kind of. It's never too chill and laid back with all the yelling I do. But hopefully we won't die from any hatches today. I don't think that's, uh, that's going to happen. We might have a bear horde or a dog horde or a wolf horde or some kind of horde come through here at some point. A new oh my subscriber. goodness, Big Sha. Big Sha. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, to the channel. All these crazy, beautiful people up in here. You my are goodness. Now a Spartan. Freestyle fun. Thank you for subscribing, but. You people are gonna break my bot. You gonna break it? Well, that's 500 rebar. Gonna break my little bot. Build an underground tunnel to the trader. No, no, I, I'm not much on building tunnels underground like that. Now, you talk to Viper and 330 and Logan about that. They love tunneling. They love tunneling to the uh, to the trader. Hey, when's the next horde? Isn't it day 112? Isn't that right? Did I math correctly there? I think the last horde was 105, so 112. Viper, what's up? Uh, Chris Brown, Muhammad Fang, Farring. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the only thing you missed, Muhammad, was we built... Oh, I got to paint that, too. Do I have a brush on me? I don't have a brush on me. We built the... Uh, we tore down the old forge room, and we got that thing built, which is going to be the entrance to our base. We got to get it all powered. And uh, get away up to the catwalk. And over here, we're going to build the entrance, the actual building where we enter on our mini bike. Uh, we got that done on Friday night. Just that. That's all we got done, that one building. And Beamer, what's up? Hello? All right, well, just a little bit more rebar here, and I'll start upgrading, folks. Um, hey, can someone tell me when the trader respawns? Does anyone know? Does anyone know when the trader respawns? What day is that? I forget these things. I rely on you. I rely on all you beautiful people to tell me those kind of things. I don't know. I don't really know. Ah, oh, missed one. I'm trying to read your chat, trying to do this at the same time. I just need to do this and then I can catch up with your chat. I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage as soon as I get this rebar down. And then we're going to get this thing upgraded. I'm telling you, you're going to be impressed with the way this thing looks once we get concrete down. It makes all the difference in the world, folks. Didn't even realize that myself until we were on that stream series and we're building that big giant base and we got all the concrete laid down and got it painted. Man, it looked good. It started to pop. Hey, that pop. That'll look a lot more futuristic once we do this. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of rebar. Well, we're already up to uh, 800 rebar. About to be a thousand. 
Probably going to lose some viewers. <laughs> I got to lose some viewers after all this, but I mean, I figured I'd document it. You know, I was going to do this off camera, off recording. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this because I'd have a few people that say, I can't believe I watched this whole Let's Play series and then you skip putting down the rebar and upgrading it. And I'm done. I'm done with you. I got that on Alpha 15. I skipped like five minutes or something and I caught so much flack for that. I said, oh, we won't skip any more. We'll document it one way or the other. One way or the other. Are you planning on playing other games? I, you know, I might. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. I looked at a little... Uh, I love trains, right? And there's a Railway Empire game that's out right now on Steam. I'm pretty interested in that. But it's not something I could document on the channel. You know, I don't think anyone want to watch me build a railway empire. I don't think anyone want to watch that. I do Rust. I do play Rust. I'm getting pretty good at it, or I'm getting better. I'm getting better at it, I guess I should say. I'm not getting pretty good, but I'm getting better. And uh, I don't think that's something that I would document either. I really don't know. Maybe if I made a montage or something of some of the crazy moments. It'd be worth watching, but just not watching. Not maybe, maybe even streaming it. I don't know. I don't know. That the Rust is probably something that you'd want to stream on Twitch and not, not YouTube. I, I don't know. Oh, look at that! The last bit, folks. That's a thousand rebar right there. It's a thousand. Oops. Whoopsie. All right. Last little bit. And I'm going to get to upgrade. I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage here, though, is what I want to do. Too many late nights. Now I have a tiny bit over here to finish out, too. Might as well do that. But yeah, that's the only other thing I've been playing lately is a little bit of Rust. Got this five times server that Mini Spartan, another friend of ours, a couple friends of ours play on. Oh, we've been having a lot of fun. We've been having a lot of fun playing that. And I've gotten a lot better at PvP too. A better shot and uh, kind of know my way around there. All right, let's get it upgraded. Well, before I do that, though, let's uh, let's pan out here for a moment and take a sip of my tasty beverage. Patrick Zerg Rush, what's up? No, I'm telling you right now, if you like Transport Tycoon or any kind of games like that, Railroad Tycoon, go check out Railroad Empire. Brand new game on Steam. I think it just came out two or three days ago. And uh, certainly looks like something I would enjoy because I like the old Railroad Tycoon games. And there's another one called Mashinky, but Mashinky has not been developed quite yet. There's only two eras that you can go through out of seven. So I'm going to wait on that one to develop a little bit more. Uh, no, Mini Spartan plays Fortnite. I have seen it and I've watched him play it, but I have not uh, played it. TCG, don't you put that on me. Don't you put that on me, TCG. Put no dog bear horde on me. I don't need that. Not right now. I'm trying to get some serious work and conversation going here. Need to run for my life. Hey, we do have a shotgun turrets loaded, though, just in case. But, folks, if you didn't know, if you're new to the channel or you're uh, new to the stream, whatever, this is my Let's Play. Uh, we're working on the Let's Play today. I have a stream series that I covered, and uh, we usually do that. We're working on a new base on the stream series. Now, we're going to get back to that soon, most likely next weekend. Uh, but I, there's some work that I needed to get done to this to catch up, to get to get up with Because I only have five hours a week or so to cover the Let's Play series. You know, so we're only on day 110 here. We had to get caught up. Uh, with all of these previews and stuff for Alpha 17 coming out now, I'm worried that I'm not going to get to finish this base on the Let's Play. And uh, if I needed to, 
I'll switch over to 17 Experimental when that comes out, and I'll still flip back over and make this Let's Play and finish this base. I'm finishing this base, darn it. I don't care. I don't care if the full seven days comes out. I'm finishing this base. Matthew Coxhill. What up? Whoa. Well, this is a lot of concrete. This is going to be like, what, 15,000, 15,000 concrete? Or something like that? It's going to be a lot. You yeah, only a Chihuahua sighting thus far. That's right. Oh, we did get it on recording, Lunesta. We were streaming on the multiplayer server. And I was just about to take on a horde, and all of a sudden I hear boom, boom. Old Crow is out there shooting my base and my shotgun turrets with rocket launcher. I had to run him off at exploding crossbow bolts. all I had. Crazy man. Yeah, Old Crow and I started with Mini Spartan and a friend of ours last night. Back on the multiplayer server since no one was using it. Uh, back on day one, try to teach them the game. And they seem to be really into it. I actually have that server shut down right now so no one can get on and progress the days. So... They can see what it's like to go through the first few weeks. Many Spartans like, how long are you going to stream? Because I want to make sure we get through the 14-day the horde today. <laughs> or I have to go to bed. It's like, I don't know if that's going to happen, but they're all excited. He never liked the game until here recently. Now he's all interested in it, so I'm happy about that. Canis Corp! Canis Corp! Vili! And, yeah, all right, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you all are doing well. I'm trying to get a little bit of uh, rebar work done today. Get this thing finished up. So I can continue on my let's play with the uh, building and whatnot. I need to do some resource gathering here soon, folks. We're running pretty low on a lot of stuff. I need to go out and do some mining, get some more lead, get some nitrate, a little bit of coal. Especially if we're going to build a new base after we finish this one, which is the goal, the plan. Whoa, look at that, I missed one. But uh, as I was saying earlier, this is a Let's Play series. There's a hundred and something episodes. Every moment of every day has been documented since day one. You can see how I started this, how we ended up with where we're at. And uh, I took your advice on the lighting, your suggestions. You know, that's how we came up with a lot of this. Uh, I had this vision of hallways with glass going down and, and you all uh, suggested the rest. And, and here we are, here we are, 110 days later. 110 hours later with what we have. It's the only base we've done so far on the Let's Play. I mean, we started over here, built a little horde defense, our first horde defense, and we just expanded on the idea. Ended up with what we have now. Uh, Matthew, we talked about the Jeep earlier. I'm kind of excited about it, but I'm a little worried about the collision on the Jeep. I don't like the idea of running into a little tiny piece of wood or something in my Jeep flipping up in the air. Uh, that's one thing I don't know about. If they can kind of fix that a little bit, then yeah, sure. Just, I mean, really, I don't play with a lot of other people except for on the multiplayer server. So having being, having the capability of carrying other people is, you know, it's not so exciting to me. No one's ever doing the same thing at one time anyway. It's not like we all say, hey, let's hop in the Jeep and go mine together. No, you're not going to do that. Like, one person's going to scavenge, one person's going over here to the trader, one person's mining, one per you know, everyone's doing something else, so it's not like you're going to be using that feature all the time, having a vehicle that carries multiple people. So, uh, you know, and I play the stream series, I'm solo, I play the Let's Play series, I'm solo. Uh, it doesn't travel any faster than the mini bike that I can see. I'm more excited about the motorcycle, to be honest with you. A motorcycle that can actually run over something instead of coming to a dead stop. 
Well, I tell you what, Patrick, he said that Alpha 17 was as really close to a beta. He wasn't going to call it a beta, but it's really close. So optimizations are coming soon, my friend. Optimizations are coming soon. You're not going to have to have some beastly computer to run it at 200 FPS during a horde, you know. You're not going to have to have that. Uh, you'll be able to run, you know, smoothly with just a mid-tier computer. High FPS. Well, it'd be pretty cool, Draco, if you could fire your gun out of the Jeep as a passenger. You know? On Rust, they have a car. And it's only for one person, I think. But that one person can fire through the windshield or out the side while you're driving. That's kind of neat. You know, if you could do something like that, it'd be pretty cool. Especially if your passengers could shoot. Now, that would be, uh, that'd be nifty. Maybe you could do a horde night in the Jeep, driving around. Just get up to speed. You know how I run outside on the street to fight the zombies all the time? Well, you could just get in your Jeep with your buddies. And you can just ride over those zombies. Just get a good head start and pfft, right over the top of them. Oh, seven days, lick seven days to die. What's up? I think it meant likes, but licks, same thing, licks, likes. <laughs> Welcome back, man. Boom, boom. All right, look at that. Look at that. It's already starting to dry, folks, even with it raining. I think concrete does better if it's wet, though, so maybe that works out. Not much more to go. A little tiny bit over here. We're about to knock that out right now, and then a little bit over here. I don't know if we'll get that finished today or not. Yeah, look at that. Crow, his dream come true. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. Oh, look at this. I got to go from over here. I got to figure out how this is going to work. And what we need to auger and what we don't need to auger. Ah, oh, if Logan's lawn care service would have arrived now, we wouldn't have this issue with the grass. I could just place it. I'm still waiting on Logan's lawn care, folks. I'm still waiting on it. Oh, gone it. All right, now that's all got to be augered out right there. Well, might as well make that line in the sand, that line in the dirt, the gravel. I need to put a marker. I need to put a marker to know how far to go out. Right. There. That's where we need to stop. Well, actually, let me drag this down here like so. You know what I mean? Ah! A deadly cactus. The attack of the deadly killer cactus. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Yeah, this is probably not the most exciting thing to watch today, folks, but very necessary. Very necessary part of what we're doing. Wish I could offer you something better, more exciting, but it kind of is what it is. Try to make up with it with my commentary, right? Oh, I almost died from rebar! Look at that! Last stream was Attack of the Killer Hatch. And this stream is Attack of the Killer Rebar. Why is the building material trying to kill me now? Why? I've only been kind to it and putting it together with all of its friends. You know? Why has it got to be mean like that? My goodness. All right, let me catch up with your chat here. Real quick. Real quick, I'm going to catch up with what you're saying. All right.
Nah. Kind of sounded Russian, didn't it? Nah. Maybe German. Maybe German. Maybe that's what I meant. Oh. Ah, uh, don't be blaming Rotor Self Winding. Don't be blaming him. Uh, yeah, I don't know who you're talking about, V. Lee. I don't, uh, I don't do mods. I don't do mods. Other than making the horde super difficult to make it more challenging. Um, yeah, I don't do the mods. I, I know all the mods that are out there, all the good mods at least. And, uh, they're just not interesting to me. You know, I, I think the game, if anything, uh, could be stripped down a little bit. Uh, increase the number of zombies and decrease the ability to get concrete and steel and that kind of stuff. Make it so that it's harder to come by. Things like that. If I were to do a mod, I would decrease and not add things to the game. Uh, I think I would decrease. The only thing I would add would be more zombies. Kind of like we have here. You know, going into the XML file and making those hordes instead of saying 50, making it 999. <laughs> so you can get the maximum number of zombies. The problem is, if you don't have a 1080 Ti and a good processor, a lot of RAM... It's going to be hard to render all that in on Horde Night. It's going to be lagging. So it's not for everyone. Uh, but here on this channel, uh, I enjoy I enjoy taking on the larger hordes. Um, I don't like the standard numbers that are out there. Now, hopefully they fix that too. Hopefully in Alpha 17, there's a bit more optimization done to the... Uh, zombies, you know, so we can have more during a Horde. Because right now, I think I have a max alive of 120 on the screen at a time. And I have basically 1,000 coming in on the waves, on each wave. So hopefully they make it so that we can have more at one time. Because right now, I feel like 120 is not enough. I feel like 250 would be a good number, at least, you know, based on what I've seen in my experience. We're going to take this out this way. Whoop. Oh, it's going to look so much better with all this ugly grass gone in the plains biome. I'm kind of tired of the plains, dude. I'm not going to lie to you about that. I'm kind of tired of the plains biome. We just started a new base on the uh, multiplayer series in the forest biome. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to having something outside of the uh, planes to play on, look at while I'm playing. Let me catch up with what you're saying here. Paul Groves, Robbie. What's up, Robbie? Ruthless Robbie, Mad Star Gaming. I have played our. That's right. The base is trying to auger me down. Yes, it is. Yeah, everyone's out to anger Old Crow all the time. Everybody likes picking on Old Crow. The behemoth? I mean, when they implement the behemoth, the first thing I'm going to do is go walk up to that thing and punch it in the nose. That's what I'm going to do. Now, I'll figure out a way to beat it. I'll make that thing look easy. Give it to me. I spawned one in on the experimental and a little single player game just to see what it looked like and how big of a footprint it had. And, um, yeah, I don't really I'm that doesn't worry me I don't like the idea of it some big giant alien creature you know but if that's what they want to do I'll take it out I will kill that thing send 10 of them at me I don't care we'll beat them we'll take them down now I'd rather see 10,000 weak zombies than to have a hundred zombies that take 50 shots to kill. That's always been my idea on it. But 
But nah, as far as the mods go, I, you know, lightsabers and all of the silly stuff that they add to those things, like, that's just not my thing. I think the game is perfect the way it is in vanilla, outside of the fact that there are not enough zombies. And that's why we modified our files on here to have a tremendous amount of zombies on Horde Night. Because uh, I feel like Horde Night should be significant. You know, you shouldn't be able to just get by. We played on vanilla settings on the multiplayer server yesterday, and it was so disappointing seeing the zombies come in on Horde Night. It's like I was all excited uh, for Mini Spartan and uh, Old Crow and myself and, the, and our friend that was on there. And it's like it was over by 1 a.m., so I'm going to have to modify those files on that multiplayer server too to 999. Increase the, the uh, difficulty a little bit there for see more zombies, Max Alive, and all of that. Alright. We're almost done with this section. Not much more now. Stella May, what's up? Yeah, I don't know what mod that is. Someone in here can tell you what mod that is. Is it Starvation or is it, it one of those mods? Jonah Birch was playing it one day. And he had a lightsaber and like a laser gun or something. And I'm like, what? And like all kinds of monster creatures. <laughs> I was like, oh, what is that? Yeah, it's one of those mods out there. I think the popular mod now is the uh, the one game for kicks has been playing. One game for kicks has been playing, and I can't think of the name of it. That's the one all the kids have been playing lately. Let me take a sip of my tasty beverage here real quick. Let me pause this for just a moment. Ah. Logan, I didn't see you join, Logan. Where'd you come from? Is your lawn care service on the way out to my place? It better be. Robert Briggs, I mean, that might be an idea. Some crazy exploding zombie. No, Ivazel, you are just in time. Hey, did Jacare fight? Did I miss that, Stella May? Oh, man, I hope I didn't miss that. I'll have to watch the replay. I'll have to watch the replay. Don't tell me what happened. Don't tell me what happened. So take check this out. When I was doing a little bit of amateur MMA and some uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, we had a guy from Brazil who couldn't speak English. He was our instructor. He was a black belt. He was kind of a fill-in for a few months. And uh, he trained with Jacare. Uh, he was an MMA fighter as well. He's a tough dude. Really tough dude. Um, you know, so we heard some stories translated about Jacare, and the guy's a monster. He's a beast. So I was looking forward to seeing that fight. I just, I've been busy, and I completely forgot that that fight was coming up. But yeah, I'll have to watch that, uh, Stella May. Thank you for reminding me, though, and saying that name. If I hadn't stopped there for a moment. War of the Walkers, that's what it is, Floppy Pancake. That's what it is. It's, uh, it's War of the Walkers that, that Game for Kicks has been playing lately. Or that he had been playing. Uh, not that I watched, but... I watched a little bit. I watched a little bit of it. Now, I just need more blocks. I need more blocks. You know, more curved blocks and things like that. To come up with better looking builds. Uh, not that this is bad looking, but yeah, I could have done a lot more with it if I had just a few more options for some for different types of blocks. So, uh, hopefully... The uh, Alpha 17, you know, they're always implementing new blocks and new textures and stuff like that. You know, I'll have a few more to play around with on 17. 
It's just not enough time. There's not enough time for me to cover all that I want to cover in vanilla and play a mod. I mean, my lord, I'd, I wouldn't have any time in the day to do anything. <laughs> I'm already struggling to get an episode up a day and a few streams a week. If I had to play a modded version, I'd never get anything done. There's 10 million different kind of builds I could do here in vanilla with all the new blocks and the traps that they've given us that I haven't even played around with yet. All right, how much rebar do I have? Not enough. Not enough. Well, this is the last bit, though. This is the last bit of it. You just wait to like, what? Uh-oh. Look at that. We have a problem spot, folks. We have a problem spot. We have a couple problem spots. Well, hopefully it'll hold up. Hopefully it'll hold up. Ah. Uh, Z. Misio. What's up? Um. Bunny B. Yeah, Ravenhurst also. That's right. That's right. That's another one. That's another one. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's pretty hardcore. You know, he's he's covering a lot of stuff every day. A lot of stuff every day. I don't know how he has enough hours in the day and work a regular job, too. You know, I don't know how he does all that. Has a family? He has a family? Oh, I know he's a beast. I know he's a beast. You don't have to tell me, Stella May. I know. I was watching that guy in Strike Force, you know. And uh, that was around the days that I was doing a little uh, fighting myself. And I, 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 watched, um, I watched him back then. And, man, I just knew he had so much potential. I was so excited to see him join the UFC. Well, that's cool to have a, you know, somebody on here that watches. It keeps up with it. It's a fan of it. I'm glad you do. That's neat. Hey, you know what we haven't talked about today yet, folks? You know what we have not talked about yet today? Food. Don't even say it. I don't even want to talk about it today. No one bring it up. No one say, oh, well, I'm having this or I'm having that. We're not turning this into a food stream again today, folks. Not going to happen. No. Not going to do it. Never going to do it. Never going to do it. Every stream is turned into a food talk stream. I'm telling you, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. We're going to stream food. You're going to watch the Grand Spartan cooking in the kitchen. And we're going to have a food stream, food channel. That's what we're going to do. All the food that we talk about in here. But I'm not hungry. I ate a big lunch. I'm full. I feel good. I don't want to think about food. Got my tasty beverage here in front of me. That's all I'm thinking about right now. I uh, don't do it, Stella May. Don't you, don't you put that on me. Don't you do that. Because you know how I like my black olives. Louisa, are you making fun of me about the hatch, dear? I think you are. Hatch time with Grand Spartan. Yeah, that's right, Viper. That's right. Yeah. No more hatch time today. Hey, can you believe how quiet it's been? No wandering hordes. No dog hordes. No bear hordes. No wolf hordes. What's up with that? Is it like going to all come at the same time on me or something? Is that what's going to happen? Oh, come on, Jeff. Oh, don't do that, man. Don't do that. Oh, chili. Oh, my God. Gosh, Eric, I'm going to have to have that, like, tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to have time to finish the stream. Maybe I will and cook it today, but chili sounds so good. Don't do that. Don't do that, folks. Oh, I love chili. I'm out of rebar. I'm out of rebar. And we have no way in the base yet. We don't have our mini bike entrance into the base yet, so I'm going to have to build my way up. Uh, let's get enough rebar to build our way up here. Get it on our belt. Oh, I had uh, I had wood frames though. I could have built my way up. 
Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do here, folks. I don't know what we're going to do here. I'll think about it. I'll think about it tonight. We'll come up with something. The chain train. Nice. Glad to hear that I've been of some inspiration to you. A new subscriber. Ah, Jay Everdell. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the stream. That's very scary every time it does that. It makes me jump. Well, we're almost out of rebar, folks. We have 1,500 left in the box. Mm, mm, mm. Well, there's another 1,000 right there. We need to get to smelting more down, like, soon. So, let's do it. Tell you what, I can stick that little 77 up in there. Uh, we're good on clay, so I can just do two stacks of iron. How about that? Just like that. And this, and you, and turn it on. They're going to throw all this dirt out. I don't need to keep dirt, do I? Why would I need to keep dirt? And that, throw it out. We can stick our clay in here. Just in case old crow decides to stop by and eat my clay. Oh my goodness! Jasmine Thomas, thank you for subscribing as well. Welcome. How many business glass blocks could we make now? A lot. You know, we probably should get the other stuff in there for uh, bulletproof glass, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I think I might turn this off. Yeah, we'll let it cook. We'll let it cook. We'll just let it burn down those plant fibers and let it cook. Let it cook. Let it cook. Stone. I uh, had a little bit more clay. I'm going to stick it in the box. And I'm going to catch up with your chat here in just a moment. Let's get a little bit more concrete out to finish this uh, project that we are currently working on. Hey, if you're new to the stream, new to the channel, I'm going to do a quick little run through here as we get outside to finish our project for the day. Uh, this is our horde defense. has eight shotgun turrets. You are now ah, the gaming a dingo. Spartan. You crazy people. Subscribing, going to break my bot. Thank you, Gaming Dingo, for subscribing, though. Welcome. Uh, we have a generator room set off to the side, and the wires run over there all neat and pretty. All suggestions. I think what I'm going to do to eliminate this wire, I'm going to stick a little dome light on the back of this pillar. I'm going to run the generator wire to there, and then back to the switch. You won't even see a wire. That was a great suggestion by a subscriber. I appreciate that. Uh, most of all of this has been. 3.30 came up with the idea for the lights on top. I just expanded on it a tiny bit, but that's where that idea came from. And those are, instead of having relays, we have lights on the top. Oh, and this is the best part of the whole base as we make our way to the outside. Take you over here. And look at that garden, folks. Look at that. I don't even have to have my helmet light on, my mining helmet light on. It's so bright up in here with all the lights and stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go outside. A little man in the game is hungry again. Didn't I just eat? It's a wonder that my little man in the game is like not 600 pounds and can't fit through the hallway. He eats so much. And I don't know how he gets around. I don't know how he runs from those hordes on horde night outside. I don't know how he does that. I guess that's why he needs to eat so much. Keep his strength up. Let's eat and drink. I'll lose. Bunny B, you like that? You like that pipe? See, Christine? <laughs> Somebody likes that. Somebody likes that. Christine doesn't like that. Christine likes that. She likes that with the double forge. I like that. Hey, I tell you what, folks. Oh, my goodness, Ryder. Take a pizza. Well, thank you, Ryder Hook. I might take a pizza. I might do that, sir. Thank you for your kind contribution. And, uh... I love you. I love you, beautiful person, you. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to ride to the trader. No one told me when the trader respawns. No one said that. No one said, oh, Spartan, the trader respawns. On such a, oh, my goodness, the two single by the Spartans. Let it be, let it be. Oh, uh, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Mining lots of nodes, let it be. All right, so uh, I'm going to ride to the trader. Thank you, 330 for your kind contribution, sir. Beautiful man, you. I love you. I love you, and 
I want to hold you close to me. So close. As we talk about lead and the things going on today in the game. Alright. 112. Alright. Well, have we been there since the last respawn? Because I don't remember that. I don't remember that. I don't remember. Go into the trader. Anytime recently. Jason. Lazinski. I am doing well, sir. How are you doing? We're just going over to a little trader here. A little trader man. This is an angry trader man. We're going to club him in the head. Just to get things started. I'll sell you goods, but if you cross me, you'll meet the wrong end of my 44. Meet the wrong end of my 44. All right, let's see what he has for creative blocks. Because uh, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do with this forge room. Let me catch up with your chat here real quick before I move on. Such a tragedy. What's up, girl? Yeah, you know it's true. Mm -mm. Um, look at that. He has a uh, some purple stuff. You are My now goodness, Ashran Gaming. I thought you already subscribed, but welcome and thank you for subscribing. All right, we've been to this guy. We've been to this guy. Well, maybe you should try Shamway. Oh, yeah, the 44 grip. The 44 grip. Uh, ammo and weapons. Ammo and weapons. Where would that be? Where would that be? Uh, 44? No. I don't know why you open your door either. Country feller. Let's, uh, let's make a trader run. Let's make that trader run. Yeah, that's right. You gotta, you gotta clunk him in the head, cause he's, he's got a potty mouth. He really does. He has a potty mouth. I'm glad you reminded me of that rider hook, that 44 grip. We need to dirty Harry the zombies that have no arms and no legs after the horde's over. That's what we need it for. Instead of me trying to AK him with the 7.62. I have a ton of uh, 44 ammo. Hey, I got a bunch of treasure maps, folks. We could probably go get some. Oh my goodness, such a tragedy coming in with a four dollars stealthy like a ninja. I'm stealthy like a ninja. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, once again for your support and welcome. Such a tragedy is talking about putting a little bit of fan art up in uh, fan art up in Discord. Yeah. Haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. I'm looking for it. I've been looking for it. Oh, that zombie beating on the door. He beating on the door. Oh, look at that. The metal pipe. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Give me that. Give me that. All right, well, maybe this guy, we haven't been over here on the Trader Respawn. Oh, that's a frame. I don't know. If, I think I have a frame, though. I need the grip. I need the grip. I'm not going to waste my money on something I don't need. Oh, he has an auger. Someone asked me the other day about that. Do they have uh, full augers at the trader? And there you go. They sure do. All right. What time is it? Oh, it's almost it's almost closing time. So we got to head back to the base. No more trader run today. We'll hit the other traders up tomorrow. We'll do a little bit more concrete work. And then we'll hit the rest of the traders up. Jadudes! Secret stash. Yeah, I did that. I did that, right? Um. You know what that makes me think of? Jadudes! Uh-huh. Jadudes. What's up? Oh, it's going to be delayed. That's all right. We forgive you. Such a tragedy. But I'll be looking forward to it. I'll be looking forward to it. Absolutely. Well, let's get back over here and finish what we started. And then when 5 a.m. rolls around, or 5.30, uh, we'll hit the other traders and see what kind of pipes they have. I'm excited, though. We got a couple more pipes to play around with with this forge room. You know what I mean? We can do some pretty cool stuff.
Well, I tell you what, Chain Train. There's a gentleman by the name of 330 up in the chat, and he can tell you how many traders you can find on a map. In 600 days, they they bought 700 vending machines from traders. And I'm guessing they had over 20 traders at least to go by and visit. So I don't know the exact number, but I know there are a lot. We already have about 10 on here. Oh, look at the base as we come into it. And eventually, this will be our mini bike entrance. You know, that'd be nice. We can just drive up on the ramp and get up in there. Who is it that keeps telling me to turn reflections off or down? Is that Andy Cohen or something like that? Someone. Oh my goodness! Oh, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna puppy vulture snake! Here it is for you. Puppy vulture snake. Puppy vulture snake. Thank you, ma'am. And there's your puppy vulture snake. Right there. Oh, we have another problem spot, folks. Another problem spot. Does not want to dry. Ugh. That's awful. But we're going to paint it so you'll never know it. You will never know it. Industrial glass look good with medicine cabinet. For the storage boxes. Maybe. Maybe we do something like that. Maybe we do something like that. I don't know. We still have to figure out what we're going to do. Well, how we're going to paint those storage boxes uh, up in there. I don't know. It needs to be painted something, though. I don't like the wood color. You have all this fancy space age looking stuff and then you have wood. Let's go take a look at it real quick. Let's go take a look at it real quick. I don't get distracted, folks. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you mean. Uh... So, we have some extra pipes now to play around with this thing. I don't know how we're going to do it, but, um... Alright, so this, this. Does anyone have suggestions in here? Instead of a wooden storage box on the floor, for a color we could paint it that looks alright and doesn't stick out. Because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that does not stick out. Uh, I don't think blue would look good. You know what I mean? Because you have all the blue, and then all of a sudden you have just one spot right there that just doesn't look right um you were talking industrial glass glass industrial one i mean i guess you know but it'd be nice if we could do some kind of metallic look to it uh, what does stainless steel look like that just looks like white is all that looks like now you can do a refrigerator top <laughs> you know it doesn't really look like a refrigerator top when it's on the floor, flush with the floor. What do you think about that? What do you think? Give me some feedback here while I take a sip of my tasty beverage. Why'd they go to 110? What do you mean, Draco? The trader? Uh... Oh my goodness, Stella May! Kung Pao chicken! It makes your hair sweat. It's better than pizza. Wow. My hair sweat? Well, that'd be a good thing if I had hair, but I mean, I guess I have body hair. You know, I could sweat. Sounds kind of yucky, but whatever. All right. I mean, maybe I try that, but now we're turning this into a food stream again, ladies and gentlemen. And today we're going to be talking about Kung Pao chicken and pizza with jalapeno peppers and bacon. So what do you think about that? What do you think about that? Glass industrial that has a border. Glass industrial that has a border. Glass industrial right there. That thing? It's a little rusty looking. Might be all right, though. Might be all right. Yeah, we tried the uh, red wood the other day. And, um... Yeah, I didn't like the red wood. It just didn't match, you know, the blue and the black. The black and the blue. 
color of the zombies that all try to come over to the base. Uh, so, now that we've accomplished that, I'd like to take a look at these uh, pipes right here. This is the pipe I originally thought we would put up here. You know what I mean? Let's do an advanced placement. Something like that. You know what I mean? Instead of it going into the center, having this pipe go straight up. But we don't have enough of them. We don't have enough of them. So I'm going to stick this away. And we'll come back at some other point. See, it could be like that, but like sticking up into the ceiling. Let's stick this into our building box. And maybe we can collect a few of those at some point. But don't let me forget, folks, when 5 a.m. rolls around, I want to go to the trader. Yeah, we'll leave it like that for now, the storage in the bottom. That, that's okay. And don't forget, too, all of these are storages. All of this is storage. I just painted it to kind of match up with the uh, rest of it. <clears throat> do they have a beverage machine paint? I think they do. I think they do. All right, back to it. Back to uh, laying some rebar. Back to... Ooh, we just finished up with laying the pipe. Now we're going to lay the rebar. You know what I mean? All right. This shouldn't take too long, and we'll be done. Will we be done? We'll be done with this whole side, folks. We'll just have, like, a little small piece to go. And then we get back to our Let's Play series tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll start working on that building. And trying to figure out how we're going to get to the catwalk. Yeah, the catwalk. Yeah, I do my little turn on the catwalk. You can't you paint a 50 pillar to look like that. Yeah, but it doesn't have the little textures on it, man. It doesn't have little textures, does it? Like the flange at the top. You know what I mean? That thing had a flange at the top. I like the flange because it like connects to the block above it. Looks pretty cool. You could, you know, you could, you could do a fifty or a hundred pillar and paint it, but it won't have that little flange at the top, all fancy detail looking. Yeah, Lunesta is missing her snuggle buddy currently, folks. Her snuggle buddy is on vacation, and I know you all miss him. I know Old Crow misses timing him out over and over and over again. Uh, he'll be back soon. He'll be back soon. And then I get to break out the Pringles can to talk like Bane. Yeah, I'm yet to make a base that's shaped like OCE. Got to do that. Got to get around to doing that one of these days. We'll make a base shape in the shape of OCE. The round block. All right, so explain that to me. A round block under the forge. So instead of doing a storage under the forge, do a hundred pillar? Is that what you're saying? Wouldn't it, like, hang off the edge of that 100 pillar, though? Oh, his son's wedding. Okay. All right. Yeah, he said he was going to be on vacation, or someone said he's going to be on vacation. I think he might have even sent me a message on Discord. Hey, don't forget, too, folks. I know it's probably been plugged in here, but there is a Grand Spartan Discord. Uh, we hang out in there. There's usually always someone on. Uh, you don't have to have a microphone to join. You can just listen in on us and type in general chat. And we can read your chat. But, uh, yeah, stop by there, say hi, subscribe to it. It doesn't really benefit, you know, anybody or anything, but it's just a place to kind of socialize and hang out, get to talk to each other. I enjoy talking to you all. Might be on there for a little while after the stream. A little while after the stream. Chat it up. Now, there it is. I told you. I knew it'd be up there. Just beware of Viper. If you see him in there, just wait till he leaves. But other than that, it's a good time up there. Good time up in there.
Oh, Lord. What would be nice? Oh, yeah, the, the wedding pictures. This, I'm sure what you're talking about, right, Christine? The wedding pictures he'd post and nothing nasty. You know how Christine gets, folks. Justin York, this is just a single player. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are playing on my Let's Play series that I never stream, but recently I've been streaming just to get all this concrete work done down here. And uh, did the generators run out of power or something? Or did What just happened? Why is there no light? We're going to have to place about 40 spotlights out here on the concrete at some point, too. That's another project for another day. We'll cover that on the Let's Play, though. We'll cover that on the Let's Play. Uh, I used to stream multiplayer, but people were complaining that they were missing too many days. You know, we'd be on day 100, and they come back next weekend, and we'd be on day, like, 250. Because <laughs> everybody's on playing all the time. And they'd miss, like, the entire base build. And so, uh, you know, I decided to start doing a single-player uh, stream series, which we're not, we haven't been on in two weeks now. We're going to get back to it, though, folks. I promise we'll get back to that new base that we're working on. And we have a base similar to this. It's about half the size, but it's kind of futuristic looking on there that's uh, completed. I need to do a base build preview video of that as well on a horde attack. Yes, that's right. Discord, where strangers become friends and friends become family. A little plug for Discord. There you go. Maybe that's our new uh, slogan for Discord. I have a strong accent. Well, what kind of accent do I have, sir? Don't tell me Texas. Don't you say Texas. Don't you do that to me. People either say I'm from Florida, Texas, or Louisiana. That's what I get all the time. But then I was in Rust the other day, and I was talking to this guy. He's like, he's like, no way you're from there. He's like, I thought you were from like, um, I don't know, somewhere up north, he said. I forgot where it was. <laughs> it's like, no, no. Hello, Dark Shadow. How are you? Genix. What up? Genix. I have a strong accent. I'm waiting. A deeply southern accent. Well, hey, y'all. This here is the Grand Spartan. And uh, I welcome you to my stream. A deeply southern accent. I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Does everyone think I have a deeply southern accent? As he says. I did fast forward a lot, but I'm all caught up. <laughs> all right, Tony Foley. All right. I sound like I'm from Tennessee. Uh, you know, I don't know. I met a few people from Tennessee, and they don't talk like I do. They don't talk like I do at all. I won't try to mimic how they talk, but the only people I've ever met from Tennessee, about a dozen of them, they don't talk like I do. Well, see, Justin, the thing in Florida is uh, there are more Northerners in Florida than there are Southerners. So, uh, you know, it's a mix of so many different um, people from different locations across the U.S. and other countries. Uh, you know, from Florida, that means you could be from anywhere, in my experience. That's right. That's right, Stella May. Stella May hit it on the head. Where is it at? Um. Boy, I'm missing my uh, little sound on my soundboard. Did it get removed? What happened to it? Um. Ow. Oh, yeah. This is Sparta! That's right. That's where I'm from, folks. That's where I'm from. Boy, it changed colors. The little button changed colors on me somehow. I don't know how that happened. 
Yeah, whatever. That's kind of weird. I sound like people from Toronto. Okay, maybe I'm Canadian. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get this thing upgraded here. What he doing, Captain? I doing blocks on the ground with the concrete and things. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, one out of three people from New York and Florida. That's right. Ohio, Flo uh, New York. You know, those are probably top two states that uh, represent down there in Florida. Uh, well, we need to concrete the ground so we can paint it. We need to paint the concrete to match our theme here. Also need to paint the belly of the beast. Still haven't decided what color I'm going to do. Probably going to go with black or something, but... I like Grand Spartan's accent. I'm not sure where it is from, but it sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm undercover Canadian. That's right. That's right. Do I have explosives? I use exploding crossbow bolts. I use those. That's all I use, honestly. If it weren't for those, I don't know what I'd do. BTK. No way do you have a strong southern accent. I'm from PA and I don't hear any accent in your voice. All right. Well, I grew up on a small farm as a kid out in the country. I did. Yeah, I was on a cruise ship years ago. I was playing blackjack, right? I like blackjack. I was just played on the dollar, five dollar table, so it wasn't doing anything too great. Uh, but a guy, Dave, never forget Dave. Dave was sitting next to me. And you know, on a cruise ship, it's a little different than Vegas. You can kind of help each other out a little bit. And I got old Dave next to me. He owned a uh, camper park up in Pennsylvania. And Dave and I sat by each other. You know, we won a bunch of money at that table over the course of the week. I mean, a bunch of money. Uh, I don't know the exact number. It was a lot for a little bit. We were gambling. Uh, but I'll never forget that guy. I spent every week, I'd go down there and I'd go get my beer and I'd sit down at the blackjack table and there's Dave. And uh, Dave was a nice guy. Is that a screamer? Uh, screamer down, screamer down. And I formed a little bond with Dave. You know, we, uh, we give each other tips and advice and help each other out. Say there's four, five, six people at the table, whatever it was. I have Dave sitting next to me every night. Dave from Pennsylvania. He's the only person I've ever known from Pennsylvania. And only knew him for a week. Patrick Klein, Wisconsin. Virginia. Are you people trying to guess where I'm from or something? I don't know what you're, uh, or you're just saying where you're from. Maybe you're saying where you're from. That's, that must be what it is. Must be what it is. Yeah, I need to start running some more streams during the week again, uh, in the morning time. Uh, I need to, you know, try to get that going again. At least a couple, one or two here and there. Good old West Coast accent for me then. Yeah, Draco doesn't have an accent. We have an accent, but Draco doesn't have one. That's what he says. The One Master, what's up? Welcome back, sir. The generic American accent. All right. From the Midwest. All right. Keep on guessing. I'm not going to tell you even if you're right. Oh, here's our wandering horde. Where you folks been? We've been waiting on you like all stream long. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Gather around. Gather around. Yep, yep, yep. Over here. Over here. Over here. Oh, where you going? Hey, hey. 
You get into my car. Hey, I said, hey, you. Hey, sir, ma'am, what are you doing? Oh my god, that's BTK coming in with a $3.50 sub. Here's about tree fitty. Pennies for your labors. Thank you. Thank you for your kind contribution. We're gonna clear them out. I was gonna take them to the turrets to the beat grinder, but we'll just do it this way. Thank you. BDK. BDK. Off with his head. Oi. Down. Down, boy. Down. Businessman. Got some business to talk. <laughs> ah, that's always fun. What you got, Mr. Punk? Got nothing. Got no thing. Hey, look at her just getting it. She's just getting out of here. She's like, I don't want any part of that. I don't know those zombies. I don't know those zombies. Alright, back to what we were doing. <clears throat> Oh yeah, no one reminded me, 5N, to go to the traders. What are you doing, people? You gotta remind me of that kind of stuff. You know I can't remember that. I can't remember that kind of stuff. Uh, well, let's just upgrade our way over to the mini bike. Oh yeah, I do. I have an internetian accent. That's exactly what I have. Exactly what I have. So we visited those two. We did not visit this guy, the two down here, or the one over in the snow biome. So I say we go there and see if we can pick up some little creative pipes or something. You know? Look at that, though. Look at how that's looking. That's coming along. That's coming along. A little blood, sweat, and tears, right? I mean, literally, blood, sweat, and tears. Had a hatch fall on me and kill me. Rebar almost killed me today. Building supplies are trying to kill me now. Zombies won't kill me, but the building supplies will. Uh, Jenny Sue, you just said something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. You did. I read it, though. I caught it. Normally, I might not, but I did this time. Look at those trees. Look at those trees popping up. Just You're just driving along. Minding your own business, and boom! Tree pops up. Not the big one, but the little... Look at that, boom! That's testing to see if you're drinking and driving right there, folks. That's that's the test. Checking your reaction time. New England has no twang. It sounds like a song. Lyrics to a song. New England has no twang. I don't know what you're talking about, Draco. I don't know what you're talking about, man. You need sleep, Draco. I think that's what you need. Hey, is old, hey, old Crow still here? Old Crow is here. I thought Old Crow had already taken off. Old Crow, I shut down the server, the multiplayer server, because I didn't want Mini Spartan and uh, and Finn uh, to miss out on progress on there. You know, I wanted them to be able to experience... And that, and we need concrete for the 14-day horde. At least support the pillars that are holding up our little horde defense. <laughs> so make sure we got all that done. I just turned it off. And when I finish the stream, you know, I'll turn it back on and everyone can get on there and play and, and uh, have fun. But uh, I didn't want time to pass by too quickly or, uh, you know, somebody else to log on there that didn't know what we were doing and, and run up the time and make it hard for us. Let the kids experience that in all its glory. All right. Let's run in here, see what dude has. Zoltazad's been creeping. Nice. Welcome. You today? Welcome back from creeping. Ah, uh, he has nothing. He has no thing. Oh, I need a 44 stock. What do we type for that? Oh, he has 44 ammo. 
We could go on a treasure hunt too, folks. I have plenty of uh, treasure maps. I have plenty of treasure maps. We could always go hunt for treasure and get more 44 ammo for the old Dirty Harry. There's a zombie. Hello, zombie. Oh, I missed a zombie. Hello, zombie, my old friend. I've come to shoot at you again. We're going to go down here to this trader. Oh, look at this center block. You burning tires right here trying to get off of it. My God, and there's another one. I'm going to hit every center block between here and the next trader, folks. Ugh, all right, let me read your tra chat. I can't even talk. Let me treat your rat. Uh, something mob spawning thing. There's a zombie called Behemoth, and I was wondering if they're gonna added a landmine on the ground back there. See, I'm see such a tragedy. What you just did caused me to blow up my tushy on the bike. Um, Kyle Lady, what's up? Welcome back. Whew, made it out of there. Oh my goodness! Fall in the big giant hole. That's never a good thing in any circumstance. I want to fall in a big giant hole. Let's see. Three cheers for the beers and all hail the ale. Yeah. Ron Harris. Ron Harris, are you from Missouri? Or are you saying that I'm from Missouri? In my drink, I'm not hoping to find anything I need in my drink. Uh, I don't know what you mean, Stella May. Are you talking about, like, a moth or something? You know, so I had the door cracked in a uh, house years and years ago. I was talking to my buddy on Skype. And a little tiny moth came and landed right down in the top of my coffee. And I just kind of took my index finger and twirled around and got him out of there. You know? My buddy's like, you're not going to drink that. I was like, well, you know, he didn't drink that much. He's like, I can't believe you're going to drink that. I was like, man, it's a cup of coffee. It's just a little moth. You know, he just wanted a sip. Uh, Elvis. Well, it's a one for the money, a two for the show. Hurry to get ready now, go, can't go, but don't you. Elvis did not die. He just moved to Australia, ladies and gentlemen. There he is right there in chat. How you doing? Good eye, Mike. Got Elvis up in the house. Yeah, the Motorbike X Games coming to you right now on the Grand Spartan YouTube Network. You know what? That guy might have had a... Uh, he might have had a uh, 44 thingy that we're looking for. Let's go take him down. Kill him. Don't let him get up. Nah, just a military vest. You know what? How much does that sell for? Ah, a thousand. We'll sell it anyway, though. Yeah, maybe we need to set up like a little Excite Bike track on here. Maybe we need to do that. A little Excite Bike. Rock. Boulder. Let's see what he has. Come on and have some pipes or a 44 something. I don't know. Break it, you buy it. You break it, you buy it. Yeah, I'm going to break him in a second. Let's see what he has. Anything. There's Magnum Parts. Let me see if this works. If I type point. Yeah, okay, so that shows up if we do that. Uh, let's click on that. Cash register. What do you need a cash register for? There's a heavy bandit gas mask. What are we wearing? Do we have anything that nice? All that damn gawking at goods oh, we do. We have almost a 600 heavy bandit gas mask. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we have. I don't too much worry about gear or hit points. I don't plan on getting hit that much, so it doesn't really matter.
Yeah, I used to love Excite Bike too. It's one of my favorite games. That's an excellent game. Who remembers Excite Bike? Does anybody even know what I'm talking about when I say that? Excite Bike? This little bike reminds me of that. It even sounds kind of similar. Looks the same, you know? What you have, Trader Bob? What do you have? Ah. Uh, it looks like he has nothing. He has some bar stools. I know Logan and 330 would be excited. Oh, guys, guys, he has a bar stool. <laughs> uh, resources, no, no, no. Uh, decor. Nothing. How about 44? No 44. Did he have 44 here? I didn't even pay attention. That's something I just can't remember, folks. I can't remember that because I never look for that. When I come to a trader, you have to remind me. If you see one, you have to say, Grand Spartan, he did have a 44 stock. In stock. All right. Two more traders. Two more traders. Yeah, I have to agree with you, Old Crow. I think Excite Bike worked a little better than the Mini Bike. <clears throat> it did. It did. The physics were better, right? <laughs> oh, am I going to beat you to it? Am I going to beat you to it? Uh, um, Booyah! Oh, wait a minute. Can I not? Oh, you can't, you can't block that guy. All you can do is hide him. Well, he's hidden. I can't block him. I beat you guys to that. Christine was quick on the trigger there with removing the comment, though. <laughs> She's all over that. Uh, absolutely waste away almost many hours building tracks for Excite Bite as I do on seven days to die. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. A lot of hours went into that game, a lot of, a lot of thought. Ah, oh, the yucca. I'm stuck on the yuck. Oh, look at who it is, folks. Banana. Mr. Fishbones, welcome back to the stream, sir. Fill my bike with gas. Well, we have 11%. Let's see how far we can go on 11%, you know? I like to ride it until it's like on zero and still going. That's what I like to do. I like to hear the silence of the mini bike as it cruises to a stop. Yeah, I carry spare gas around with me everywhere I go. Yep, old banana fish bones. Back again. It's so smoky over here. Can't see anything. I guess that makes sense if the place is on fire, but... Whoa, is that a feral white? I'm on fire! Fire! Whoa! He might have a 44 stock on him. Come here, big boy. Uh-huh. That doesn't feel good, does it? I got the railroad spikes up in this thing. Now, why can't I hit him? Is he just going to run a circle? He's going to run a circle and act fool. I'm just going to kill him like that. Nah, pistol grip. The old dreaded pistol grip. I was tired of those pistols on Alpha 15. I will tell you that. That's all we seem to get on Alpha 15. Pistol grips. Yeah, we could build one of those. You could build a, a, an Excite bike track, you know? And you can get everybody on there. That might be something we need to look uh, look at 
in the future for the multiplayer server. Make an Excite Bike track. We can all get on it and race. You know? Get some rails going around it. Get some ramps. What? That sounds like fun. We could start our first ever annual Excite Bike race. We could all get on there and line up and race to the finish. Take care, Jalen. Or Jalen. Probably butchered that both times. Sorry. But thank you for stopping by. Have a good day. Oh, uh, I wish you could empty my pockets with some good stuff, but unfortunately, it looks like you have junk. Junk. Nothing. Uh, oh, a small engine. Give me that. There's a purple small you engine, and I got a man back. Spartan. Talkmas, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the stream. Get me all excited up in here. Kind of like, oh, there's a metal pipe corner. What? Give me that. Uh, looks like that might be all. Am I missing the 44? Let's do the dot. I don't think he had that. Shit, well, we only have one more trader to go. One more trader to go, and we're done with the trader run. We're done with the run. And we had lots of fun. <laughs> I got, a, I got a text message one day. We were on vacation. We were out of town. And I got a text message from this family. It was a family photo. And they were at a place called, uh, it was a fun park. And they were all standing out front. And it said, we had fun. And they all had frowns a on their faces. Oh my goodness, I called and walk. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome. But this family, they all had frowns on their faces. They all looked angry. And the picture said, we had fun. Then it was just a wrong number. You know, they sent it to the wrong number. But we got such a good laugh out of that. And then the text that followed from the same number said, tell Reek, R-E-E-K, tell Reek to call Mama. <laughs> tell Reek to call Mama because we had fun. Everybody's sitting there with a frowny face on. Oh, uh, what does he have? Why do they all have cash registers? Who wants a, Who's buying cash registers? Who's buying that? What do you use it for if you buy it? What do you set up a little shop somewhere or something? Nah, just 762 ammo, but I'm not going to worry about buying it. Probably should. You know, that's almost a full stack of 762 ammo. Why not just buy it? Why not buy it? You know what I mean? We can use it in the old uh, AK. That's all the traders. We're done with traders now. Hey, didn't you all say the trader respawns on 112? Isn't that right? Day 112? I'm going by what you're saying now. I didn't even pay attention to that. You know what? Just to confirm for my own confirmation, I will click on him and he says day 112. Day 112. Oh, take care, Stella. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for stopping by. Have yourself a good day, ma'am. And thank you for telling me about Jacare in the fight because I had forgotten. Oh, there we go. We're out of gas. How far can we go? How far can we go? There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, we're out of gas, so uh, let's fuel her back up. And we're on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Meet Stu with all the meat that I have. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little stingy with that meat, though, Lanesta. I'm going to keep that meat to myself. I'm not, I'm not selling that to anyone. It's too hard to come by, you know? Let's Play series, I'm, I'm swimming in meat. I mean, I could literally take a meat bath. 
with a side of meat covered in meat sauce. But on the uh, stream series, I can't buy an animal. I can't find them anywhere. I don't know why that is. Same server, just different seed name. Instead of zombie, it's zombie one. You wouldn't think there'd be that much of a difference, but there is. Oh, Heather Bevins. Take care, tragedy. Such a tragedy. I start a city on seven days to die. Well, good luck with that city, ma'am. I hope you build a metropolis. Doug. Douglas Eddie. Douglas Eddie. I'm doing well today. Why are you yelling at me? All caps. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to go for too much longer, though. I knocked out most of what I wanted to knock out today. I'm going to upgrade the rest of this concrete or this rebar that we laid down. And I need to think about how we're going to do this attachment room with a generator that goes up to the next level. You know, need to figure that out. I don't know how we're going to do that. Elvis, a meat bath. Sounds so wrong. Don't knock it till you tried it, man. Don't knock it till you tried it. If you've never taken a meat bath, then, then maybe you should. You might have a different perspective on taking a meat bath. Maybe not. But at least you should try it. Am I going to get caught up on every little thing across the desert? Look at this. I can't even get off of that. I'm stuck. My goodness. Mini bike needs big fat tires on it. That's what it needs. Well, here was our encounter with the puppy vulture snake early on in the series. You know, the only time we have died on this entire series since the little ladder hatch incident was to the puppy vulture snake. You know that? That was the only death we had. Puppy Vulture Snake. We were in like the first week of the game running across the desert. And Puppy Vulture Snake. Formidable beast it was. Yeah, I need something. I need a tractor or a tank or something. That's what I need. Something to just roll right on over everything. I get tired of getting hung up on stuff. I'm going the wrong way. Getting distracted by your chat. Yes, that's that's true, Mr. Groves. See, there's a positive side to everything. A meat bath would be better than a dirt nap. Maybe you take a, a dirt nap after you take that meat bath. Maybe that's how it works out. Lunesta is not... Lunesta is not is good feeling day to day. All right. I mean, I take it as translation that Lunesta is feeling ill today or something like that, right? She doesn't feel well. Yeah. That's NATO. Seven starring puppy vulture snake. Yeah. The Hatch NATO Seven. Starring Puppy Vulture Snake. Puppy Vulture Snake. Coming to a theater near you. How do those guys talk like that on those commercials? Advertising those movies. I mean, did they smoke like a carton of cigarettes, like chain smoke them three at a time before they did the ad? How do they talk like this? And it sounds like... Uh, you know, I can't do that. I have kind of a deep voice, but I can't do that. I don't know how they do that. And then you see the guy, and you're like, no way is that guy. That's the guy that that voice is coming from. <laughs> Michael Rodriguez. You got a cash register at the Wasteland Trader. All right. There's a cash register at every trader. My little man in the game is hungry again. All he's been doing is riding. I think he's just eating out of boredom now. You ever do that? You ever get bored and just eat because you're bored? I think that's what my little man in the game does. He just wants to eat because he's bored. All this riding around. I don't like riding around. This is my least favorite part of the game.
Uh, Madeline! Bacchus! Well, thank you. And here we are. At our latest creation. Here we are. She's crawling to it. See? That's where I need the Dirty Harry gun. So I can take her out. Here's our latest creation. We can finally park on solid ground. No, no more hiding the mini bike in the grass. Before long, we'll have our own parking for our mini bike. That'll be nice. Well, let's go ahead and take her out. Look at that shot, though. All right, let me uh, let me catch up with your chat. Yeah, he did, Paul Groves. I kind of skipped through it. I didn't watch it all. Well, welcome, Madeline. Welcome. Glad to have you. Oh my goodness! This is the glimpse. You just you only get a glimpse of him, and then he's gone, folks. He's gone in a glimpse. How you doing, man? Come on now. Keep missing blocks. What am I doing? This is hard to do while I'm reading. It's hard to weave and bob. Dip, dive, dodge. Dip, duck, dive, dodge, dip. I don't think that's how it goes, but you know what I mean. Oh, this is going to look so good when we finish it, folks. It's going to look so good when we get it finished. And then when we, when we paint it, it's really going to pop. Yep, the Grand Mason. That's right. Grand Mason. You know, all this concrete. It's a necessary part of it, though. It's kind of a boring part. I'm not going to lie. It's a little tedious. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I can put a podcast up on the other computer here, and I can watch and listen to that while I do this, you know, on my own. But I wanted to document it. I was just, I realized how much you were going to be missing out on if I didn't document this in some way. And I did not want to waste the hours of a Let's Play, because look, Let's be honest, this is like a week's worth of episodes, you know, if I were to document this. And so that's a week's worth of episodes we're behind. Uh, so it's better just to knock it out all at once on stream. We have one little tiny section left, and I'll probably do that off recording. You know, you all got to see me do the the 80%, the bulk of it. And um, <clears throat> I'll do the rest of it, the tiny little corner over there. Uh, and then the last little bit that we'll have to do, we'll do on the Let's Play series because... That'll, that'll finish off where our mini bike building is going to go. I think I'm going to do a mini bike building too where the ramps go in with the drawbridges. We'll do a little mini bike building. And have that hallway leading up to it. That's how we'll do it. Got a pretty cool idea in my mind at least of how we do it. Now I just have to figure out how to get this generator room on top of the place that you all want me to do spiral staircases right there. I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to figure out how we're going to do that. Let's... Uh, that's going to take a little bit of thought with a clear mind. Dip, dive, duck, dive, and dodge. It's the five Ds, right? Five Ds. We're almost done. A little bit more. Wait for it. My goodness, we've gone through like 50,000 concrete to do this. That's not an exaggeration either, folks. We really have gone through like 50,000 concrete to do this. Oh! The last block right there. 
Woo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now we have to do this. We're not going to do this. I'm going to do this off uh, recording, off stream. And I'll show you so you have an idea. There's a screamer. There's a screamer. Ah! I think I caught her in her left toe. Barely got that. So I have to come down from here down to right there and finish this little bit out here and finish that little tiny bit right there. Let's see what our time is here on the stream. Now yeah, we're going for a decent time today. Decent time. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> the idea was to build a room up top here like we did over there and put the generator in that room up there. Um, that's the idea. And it would be easy to run power down to the hallways over here for the lights and uh, the lights that we're going to put in this room. Uh, it would be easy to do it that way. Uh, that's, that's the goal. That's the plan, at least. I just have to figure out, you know, on my own time, uh, kind of think about what we've done here. Why can't I build a... Why can't I do that? But I got to figure this out. How are we going to do a spiral staircase or if I'm going to take this down and just do a ladder? If I'm going to just do a ladder. Um, I'd like to do the spiral staircase. That was a good idea. But we got to figure out how we're going to do this. If we're going to be able to leave this glass in here and get ourselves a room high enough that matches up with this room and that we can put a generator in and run the power down the column so that it's not showing. Uh, also need to get this figured out. You know, how we're going to do this forge room. And uh, hopefully finish that out sometime soon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we'll just call it right there. We got a good bit done today. That was uh, quite a bit of work we did uh, getting the concrete down. I'm excited that that's done for the most part. But um, we'll, uh, we'll pick this back up. We might run a morning stream this week, but I'll definitely have you a Let's Play up tomorrow at some time. Maybe 5, 6 o'clock my time, Eastern uh, PM tomorrow. We should have one of those up. And, uh, and we'll get back to work on this again. And then, then we'll switch back to the stream series next weekend. We'll switch back over there. Might even do it this week. Who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your support. You have yourselves a good day. Oh my goodness, they're coming in with a $5. The Master Mason. Thank you, you beautiful French Canadian man. You have yourselves a good day, good evening, wherever it may be located. I will see you all next time. Ah. Uh.